Okay, in the last video, we talked about security settings and trusted zone in Internet Explorer. And now we're going to look at Java. So Java is a major culprit in a lot of websites um, when you're dealing with, you know, problems with not being able to retrieve documents or running searches or different functionality within websites. If your Java version is not the latest and most current version, a lot of times you'll have problems because Java is constantly going through changes. There's security exploits that come out, they get patched, they get fixed. And so websites oftentimes will block will block you if you have an older version of Java. So now in some cases you might need to have an older version of Java because the, the website itself is not compatible with the newest version. So it, it, it can get pretty crazy. But generally speaking, you always want to be on the latest version of Java for your own security. And if you end up having a problem with the website when you have the latest version of Java, then you probably have to talk to their webmaster and find out what's going on on their side. And can they please upgrade themselves to the latest and greatest. But it, the, in the majority of cases, you want to have the latest version of Java. And how you do that is very simple. You just go to the website java.com. And right here on the front page, there's a, there's a red area to click where it says free Java download. Just click on that. And then you have to click on right here, agree and start download. And then you click on run. And then it comes up now if you don't have administrator access on your computer you'll have to enter the administrator password if you have administrator access on your computer you will not have to do this so in my case I'm not logged in as administrator right now so I have to put the password in and then we just wait for the installation window to pop up it just takes a few seconds okay and then when it pops up you just click on install And it will begin to install now depending on the speed of your computer and all that it may take a couple minutes to install but um i will just pause the video and then start up again when this is done okay so the installation here is almost done and i wanted to show you that the progress bar and then it says okay you have successfully installed java wonderful all right click close and that's it and then it will it'll bring you to this um section of the website where you can verify Java version and you can just click on that if you want to and it will run this little animation here and that shows you that um, that it's installed it says do you want to run this application in this case we do uh, you know normally you know if this security um, window pops up and you have no idea why you, you might want to think twice before you click run and this is for your own security because sometimes websites can use malicious Java so if you know that your website uses Java and you're expecting this, you can actually click do not show this again for apps from this publisher and location above. So if it's your bank website or if it's a corporate website or something and you know that website uses Java, you can click, yes, I know, don't ask me again and, and click run. Um, if it just pops up unknown, you have no idea why, you might not want to click run. You might want to click cancel, you know, just to see what's going on. But in this case, we'll, we'll click run and... Uh, and that's it. Congratulations, you have the latest recommended version of Java. Down here, there's an IE add-on that pops up. You can click on Enable for that. Okay. And now the last thing we need to do now is go into the Java control panel and do some changes in there. So we want to go into uh, the control panel. So first we do, we click on the uh, Start menu at the lower left corner of the screen. And then go into Control panel here. Now, let me show you something on the control panel because most computers, I've already changed the view, but most computers will look like this. When you go into the control panel, your default view is the category view, and it looks like this. Now, it might, that will make it a little bit difficult to find the Java control panel. So what I like to do is click under view by. I change it to either small icons or large icons, depending on your preference. But when you change it to an icon view, it, oh, hold on. Yeah, large icons. Okay. So when you change it to the icon view, you see it's a different view and it's easier to find Java. So what you do is you click on Java and then you want the security tab up here on the top. And two things in here that you want to do. The first thing you want to do is change the security from high to medium. And then you want to click on edit site list. And you click on add. And it pops up with this little funny looking thing right here. You actually are typing in here, right? 
And again, like we did on the, sec on the security settings, we want to type HTTP and HTTPS. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash star dot Amazon dot com. Now it will present you with a warning saying HTTP is a security risk. Do you want to add it? We're going to say yes. We're going to continue. The reason why it's prompting that is because HTTP is not encrypted. So they're just letting you know, hey, you know, you're bypassing on a non-encrypted website. Are you sure you want to do that? Well, in this case, yes, we are sure because that we trust this domain. So now we click on add again, and now we do HTTPS colon slash slash star dot Amazon dot com. Right. Same as before in, in Internet Explorer, when we went into the trusted zone and changed the, the security settings here, we do the same thing. HTTP colon slash slash star dot Amazon dot com. HTTPS colon slash slash star dot Amazon dot com. And then click OK. And now you'll see those websites in this exclusion list right here. And the security setting is changed from high to medium. We click on apply and OK. Let's go back one more time just to make sure those settings took. So click on the security tab and there we can verify the security levels on medium and the site list exclusions are in there for amazon.com. That's it. So that's how you set Java security. So again, you only want to do that for websites that you trust. You don't want to do that arbitrarily for you know other websites, only websites that you're working with that you're pretty sure of the security of those websites. Now this will bypass a lot of the Java security or it will minimize some of that security. So you should be able to get around any Java compatibility problems between the website and your browser. In most cases that will work. It might not work in every case, but it's definitely something you can try if, you, if you're if you pretty sure that you're having a Java problem or you're not sure if it's a Java problem, you can try this and see. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will look at uh, Adobe, Adobe Flash Player. And uh, thanks for watching.